Welcome back, my dear friends of the universe. It's me, Saj, and today we're gonna talk a little bit more about Fallout 4 because I can't hype this more than I already do. This time around, we're gonna take a look at the crafting system. What do we know so far? What can we expect from this crafting system? And we're gonna try to accumulate all the information that has been released and speculate a little bit about how this actually will be implemented into the game. What kind of effects will this have to your gameplay? Uh, so on and give my humble opinion on what I think about the, the crafting system in this game. It looks kind of cool. I was skeptical at first. I was really skeptical at first. Uh, just because I didn't think the crafting system was something that was needed in the Fallout universe. But then again, I love uh, survival games. I play Ark Survival Evolved a lot nowadays. And the, the, the thing I do mainly is build. So, I'm probably gonna spend too much time in this game uh, with the crafting system, which is kind of w why I'm kind of hesitant that it actually is in, because it's just something that will be a lot more time consuming than I think I wanted it to be in the first place. Anyhow... First off, I'm gonna let uh, my dear friend uh, Todd Howard over at Bethesda uh, talk a little bit about what they released on E3. And then we're gonna get a comment on that and we're gonna elaborate on that, on information that has been released outside the E3 press conference. So, over to you, Howard. So back to the, the big one. Uh, you know, we love building stuff in our games. Um, and if you think about building and crafting, Fallout is kind of the perfect world to do all of that in. Um, so like many things, we have gone completely overboard. And here's how it works in the game. We're allowing your character, while playing, to rebuild. And it works like this. You can scrap items in the world for materials and then use those materials to build the way you want. Well, thank you, Howard. I'll take it from here. Uh, good work, old friend. See you next time. Somewhere along the road. Probably never gonna see you. I don't know him. I just I was just joking before. Anyhow, uh, this is the most important thing that I wanted uh, Howard to explain to us is that uh, anything that you see in the world can apparently be scrapped into uh, steel, cloth, aluminum, screws, all kinds of shit, basically. And then you can make a chair, or a couch, a bed, a... All kinds of furniture that I probably... You probably find blueprints for this, is not confirmed, but that's just speculation. Uh, I guess you have to find blueprints before you actually can do something. I doubt that you have all the blueprints from the get-go. Anyhow, uh, once you have built your little settlement with enough materials, there is supposedly going to be uh, people living in your settlements. So that kind of reminds me of Terraria. When you built a room and you actually completed that room, there was a trader that jumped in and started living in that room that was suitable for that trader. So I guess it sound kind of will be similar here. There's nothing confirmed about that there being traders, but there will be people uh, living in your settlements if you make them bigger, which I think is kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool indeed. One thing that he didn't uh, talk about, my my dear old friend Howard, <laughs> uh, is that there won't really be an inventory that you have on yourself for the metal and the uh, aluminum and all the materials that you collect, like tires and so on. Uh, it won't be an inventory that you have on yourself. Apparently, in the area that you want to build, you can go around, scrap the different materials to get stuff for whatever you want to build, and it's going to be teleported to the crafting system. From what we can guess right now, you won't be able to just scrap everything in the entire world. It might be the case, but it sort of indicates that you can scrap everything in the area of your settlement and then it will be teleported to the crafting station. Uh, so from there you can build walls and so on, whatever you actually want to build. Um, it's sort of a good system that dodges the whole uh, magical pockets with... Uh, we all already know that we're gonna have magical pockets where we can have rocket launchers and power armors. Not only power armors in this, but some sort of si similar situation where we have a lot of guns and so on. So, yeah. Something that I wanted to talk about before we move on to the modification system of the weapons is that uh, what we saw here on the screen is that you can use uh, wires to uh, start electricity. You put on a generator 
and then you g get out some wires to uh, lamps and uh, computers and so on. And the terminals is supposedly really easy to use. It's supposedly really logical. You don't really have to program anything in. It's supposedly more of a situation of what you see is what you get, if that explains anything. But there's gonna be a lot of options to actually customize everything how you want it. Like uh, how, how and when the fire is going to spot out, how the different panels look with colors so you can uh, customize that. And it's probably going, going to be pretty awesome to customize your base and make it look like your base uh, in hand. A tower defense mod for Fallout 4, anyone? I, I, I mean, it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done sooner or later. We gotta expect the tower defense mod in this game. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. It's there. All right. I said it first, I said it, whatever you, I don't think anyone has given the suggestion, but it's going to be there. If it's not going to be there, I'm gonna be really disappointed, but it's going to be there, expect that, all right. <laughs> and this crafting system carries over to other things in the world. So let's say you want to build this scope, and the game will tell you you need these components. And those components are found in all of the items in the world. So you could decide to build this scope out of these, you know, say the microscope, a toy car, or these, you know, duct tape, an alarm clock and such. So we like to fill our worlds with thousands of items that you can interact with, and now all of them have purpose. And here's what it looks like in the game. Less is known about the uh, customization system or the modification system or whatever you want to call it for the guns. But apparently there's over 50 base weapons and over f 700 modifications for those weapons. And as we see here, it seems to be like you can take a laser pistol and make it into a laser rifle instead. There's gonna be tons of ways that you're gonna be able to make a gun that is almost unique. It's probably never gonna be unique, uh, but it's gonna be close to it. And we can see here that there is a tons of things to do and expect from this system. I guess it's gonna be a little bit different since uh, in this system, you're going to be able to collect anything from the world in order to create something that you want to. In order to create a spiked bat, in order to create a laser sight and a long scope and so on and so forth. It's probably going to be a little bit different from how the building system works with the area focused uh, loot. Uh, still, this is not confirmed, this is just speculation. But it would be weird if you could collect anything in the world and then it teleported to your crafting system in your settlement, I think that is just a little bit more centered to around your settlement. But the weapons, uh, it's going to be different. And this is exciting. We're going to see uh, modifications of a power armor. So you're going to be able to modify your power armor and create something unique here as well. We're probably going to see awesome looking power armors in the end really really awesome looking power armors and this is something that i'm excited for the customization of the power armor is probably the thing that had me really going for it the other things wasn't expecting them so i'm not really sure that i wasn't hyping them at first but now that i have thought about it now that i read more about it i'm actually really excited and i ah i can't wait until we actually get ha our hands on this game and try the modification system and the crafting system and the customization system for our own to see how well implemented they are into the game. They feel a little bit out of the box for me when it comes to Fallout. This must customization is not Fallout for me, but Todd Howard think it is and maybe he's right. I'm not really sure. Anyhow. That's it for this video. I don't really have any more information to share about this topic right now. If you do, then please leave a comment below and we can get a discussion going. If there's something that you want to question that I said in this video, is there something that you don't really agree with? Is there something that you just say, think that it's bollocks? Then leave, leave a comment below, let me know. Let's get a discuss discussion going about this topic. Anyhow, I'm really excited for this game and I hope you guys are as well. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more Fallout content in the future as well as other gaming related content. And until next time guys, bye.
We're happy to say Fallout 4 is coming out November 10th this year.